Okay. So this is part two. Sorry, the sword fell out again. Uh, and I'll be doing the transformation and uh, um, transformation card, that sort of thing. So first, we're gonna pop all this good stuff off. Okay. So first things first, we take his head and make it go bye bye. Now he's another headless rider. We take his arms, move them up like this. And then here's the fun part, which I know you're going to like. We make him do the splits, but like that. Basically just, yeah, slice his crotch right into, you can see the belt. Like the, like the, and then you have to actually move these over and then move his feet up because that's where we're going to put in some stuff. So here we go. The actual figure's transformed. What? That doesn't look like a dragon. It doesn't look nothing like a dragon. Well, then we have to add this stuff. We put the uh, shields onto um, the, the forearm points. Now you're probably, you know, saying, well, you know, there's like the drag visor there. Well, there's actually a hole in the drag visor for this stuff. Sorry, I've I drank a lot of Pepsi last night, and I haven't had any today. So, and I don't drink coffee. I know what you're thinking. 28 year old guy who doesn't drink coffee? What the hell? Okay, so now we have the feet of the dragon, and these actually do move. And they turn to, so I don't know if you can actually see that. Um, we actually still do have smoke in the area for like the third day in a row now, uh, but it's been tapering off every day. But it basically means that getting this done in my room is going to be useless, which is a good thing I chose to do it out here. Okay. Now on the feet, you can see there's a cut there and a big hole there. Well, there's a notch on the sword. So the sword goes on here, where's the tail, and then we take the head and we pop the handle off, and as you can see there's a large peg and a smaller peg, which fits this, actually I wonder if, I have to leave this guy out and see if he'll actually go on one of the other guys. And bingo bingo, Rookie Drag Redder. Now, the reason why for the fins is because if you actually lay him down like that, uh, he can actually stay like that. Um, now, his mustache, antenna, whatever, what have you, kind of got bent on mine, but he does have an opening mouth, which is awesome. Which is something this guy never had I don't think no it actually does look molded in there so like this would pretty much be like the actual drag redder I think he might actually be a bit of a remold of um, the uh, the like uh, one from Rookie I'm not sure though I have to actually see actual images but yeah but as like his symbols on his side there are painted on uh, and that, and yes, only his front part is painted his ass. He's got no gold on his ass. And his tail is actually in the wrong position. At least I think. This guy, these are actually molded on. And painted great. Except for the ones in his crotch, but oh well, that's his crotch. Um, you flip him around, you can actually... See the top of Rookie's head with the Rookie symbol, so that actually makes it really neat. Um, all in all, this is like this guy, and uh, well, this guy is like one of the best. He's not the best, like not my favorite, but he's like my second favorite, just because of the sheer amount of detail and the sheer amount of accessories and posability, and um, like you can kind of move like that 
Oh, that didn't really work on his... But yeah, you can kind of make him go like that. Sort of. Kinda. You actually get really great if you can make Rookie's butt touch himself. Like, both sides of his butt touch. Although, the uh, feet, they're on, like, pegs and that, so they are... They do pop off easy on, like, all of these figures I found, and, uh... Unfortunately, that means that if there's a make bump, he will fall. So that's kind of the major, the only major down part. But aside from that, this guy is just amazing, amazing. Um, I also noticed he's right now. I'm looking at him. He's actually a darker shade of red than like the Dragonite Drag Rider. So. Um, but he is a, a lot bigger and uh, quite a bit better. So let's get on to the card. Rookie with the Rider going rawr, rawr, with the uh, Rookie symbol. We'll put him into the Leon Cellular. And... Did I wake you up? We're doing this on the couch, and she has been sleeping beside me all day, and all day yesterday. There. The symbol for Rookie. Okay. So I was going to say the final thoughts for the end of these, of these figures, but... Again, like I said, having to live with this guy for the past couple months. Not to mention this guy who is about as poseable as... Mm. Well, some rubber things that, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to say that, it's kind of dumb, but it's about as poseable as he would be if you just found a piece of wood and whittled him. So, yeah, that's a big plus for the figure there. Um, the size of the accessories and the fact that he can actually hold a lot of things and um, he's not too overweight when you have like everything on uh, just makes makes him just awesome I'd uh, highly recommend Rookie Drag Rider if you can find him that is one I'm glad I got okay so next well you would know who's next if you watch Rookie. I don't mean to sound like, like, pompous or anything, because there's that one guy on them, uh, Collection DX, who does all the Sentai reviews who sounds so frickin' pompous, and he just offended me with the Ghost Sager stuff, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Okay, so here we go for the next review!